Hello guys, Shwab Bani here from Guitar Broadcast. Today I want to share experience with you and the lesson I learned from the experience. It's about learning the fretboard. It's the most difficult task you'll ever face as a guitarist. Everybody has something to say about it, you know, learn the notes. This is the way you learn the notes and this is the way you learn the notes. And every time it gets difficult and difficult, you know, as you progress because there is, it's not, the fretboard is not even horizontal, it's also vertical. So, you know, it's very difficult. It's very difficult from the keyboard. You know, keyboard's very easy to learn the, learn the notes. So, I tried everything. And it's all, it all came down to, you know, it, it needs a lot of practice if, you, if you're going to that rigid way. So, I thought about it. And sometime I, I came across a scientific, you know, functioning of the brain. And it gave me a clue. So let me share it with you. Our mind actually designed to learn the patterns and sometimes get used to that pattern and turns them into habit. Because during the habit, our mind has to work very less. And it wants to work less on the things it's all doing all the time. And it wants to function on the things which are, which are new and difficult. And it happens all the time with us when you're going to office, going to friends. If you know the way, your, your brain is not functioning on the highest point at the time. So I designed, I discovered a pattern. You know, I discovered a pattern and it will start with the root note every time. So this function, this pattern, your mind get used to it and it start remembering that and it after some time you 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 put a very low effort in in playing that pattern but during that process you learn the notes so it just starts with the first note you have to select one note on the fretboard and you play that pattern on every string and after playing it on every string you get used to that then to, then move to the second note and do the same and sometime you know move back and forth between those notes and then move forward to the other notes and after some time you get used to the notes and you know it's always even any song is playing it's always safe to fall back on the root note so once you know the root note of all the chords then you can you can fall back and you can play the solos as well so let me share it with you let's let's, let's select one note which is right now i'm selecting the a note on the fretboard let's get to it let's start with the a note this a note and you have to find the C note on the, all the string. So, and then you play the pattern. So, first you just play for the two two strings from this E and B string. So, this A note over here on this E string, and you know this this A note is over here on this B string. So, pattern is like this. This is two parts of this pattern. So, from this A to C. And this, this this G note on the B string. One, two, one, two, three. A, C, A, C, G. This is how you play this. And now you go to the other A note, which is here on the B string. And the second pattern, which is From A to C, you don't have to remember the C right now. Just just focus on this A because we are remembering the A note right now. It's so like this, and this you go to like on this D note on the E string, and from C to A. A C D and C A. So this pattern combines like this. One more time. Like this. Now you go to the third string and find the A note. The A note is over here. The second fret on this G string. And you play the first pattern, then go to the other pattern like from this A to C, from this G note on this D string. But don't don't worry about the G note. We are just remembering this A note on all the string. Same first pattern, and you go 
to the second pattern on this T string from D from A note to C and this this T note on the G string and like this so it combines like this then you go to the fifth string which is already A string so this open A the C note on this string third fret on the A string and you jump to the G note on the E string and the second pattern is like this A note on the E string same D note on the A string and go back from C to A like this You see this pattern is very easy you know you can try it all the time while watching tv and you know playing but you have to have metronome or backing trend behind these notes while you're playing them When you're done with the A note on all the string, they keep on practicing one two days, landing on the A note already. So, so keeping this pattern on, your your brain start functioning like that. It start remembering this pattern, and when you're falling back all the time on that note, it it registers in your brain. Once it's done, you set, uh, you know select the second note like if you see C, and do the same. Find it on every string and keep on playing this pattern on the two string. Like this, C note, and for the if C is like here on the B string and C is here on the B string, so you can do it like this as well. And same goes for other notes as well. Select other notes, just one note, find it all the strings, and and. Play this pattern on the two notes one time and do it with the with the metronome. Hope you understand the concept of this exercise, and I hope that you give it a try. And I assure you that it can actually improve your playing. It can actually make you remember all the notes on the fretboard. But you have to take some time practice for each and every day for this exercise. I hope you like this lesson and please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos.